Hey guys, this is NC Tech, and this is a different type of video. Today, I don't have any actual external camera, um, but this is the um, this is the Huawei no Huawei Y9 Prime, and I've been this has been my main phone for two years, and this is actually, in my opinion, a really good phone. So this is just my review on it, and if you should buy it in 2021. So right now, I got this for about $400 at, when I bought it. But right now, I think you can grab it for just under 270 on the 128 gigabyte model. Yeah, this is the this is the model I got. So 289 actually, so it was a bit more. But this, yeah, this is the 128. So I think I've correct. You can drop that to about 250 for 64 gigabytes of storage. Both, the, I think I might be wrong. The 64 gigabyte and the um 128 gigabyte both come with a um. They they both come they both come with uh four four gigabytes of medium um fast RAM. Uh, the, if I am wrong, the 64 gigabyte comes with three. But this is, it, it's a great value for money. So you're still getting um, 10, uh, 1080p um, playback, which even the iPhone 11 does fails to get, um, dipping below the 1,000 pixels. You get 60 hertz, which, ev which um, the, even the new iPhone 12 Pro Max um, includes. And you get a pretty fast phone. This phone actually has no... Um, lag after two years i filled it up with a bunch of junk and it still seems to be working overly fine things load quite quickly let's just show um show you so as you see youtube loads go into a random mr beast video and things load quicker it's just an ad I'm not, I'm, you might not be out of your sound but videos load quickly social media loads quickly so if for you if you want to get a phone that does everything you need to it calls um, YouTube, Netflix even, and even your, your daily scroll of Instagram, just up and down, you know, this will be the phone for you, it may not have top tier camera, in fact, the top, the camera on this kind of sucks, so let me just show you what it looks like, um, I mean, I don't actually have an extended camera, so I'm gonna just do it like this, all right, so yeah, you see my face for the first time, but the camera looks like this, like the phone. So you've got a triple camera set up, um, even though only one of the camera actually does, I the one camera does about 95% of the work. Two of the lens kind of are useless in my opinion. And then the screen is, um, it's, it's good. But the one cool thing about this phone and is that you get the entire screen to yourself. N no, no selfie camera here, no little pop out. And you may be thinking, oh, well, I'm not going to get this phone. It has no selfie camera. That would be where you are wrong. Look at this. Sorry, you may have not seen that. So you might so this phone has a little camera that will pop out of the back of the phone. I don't. There's no way I can really show you that actually. But um, it it, it comes out and when you and you can take like you know photos or videos yourself. You go get a variety variety of um types of um modes. They're all pretty good. Um, it's it's a good phone. There's, there's there's really nothing else to say in terms of camera quality and um, speed. Um, it has a massive battery. Like at at its time, this a four thousand milliamp battery was considered monstrous. This thing was um it, for, it was considered monstrous. You know, even iPhones were still dipping into the two thousands, two thousands. Now four thousand is average. You know, but even the new, the new, like, it's, you're not going to get a monstrous S21 Samsung 5000 milliamp battery, but this battery will still last you two days or one day on heavy usage. But if you're just your occasional person who only, who, who goes to work with a phone and maybe does a bit of calls, maybe watches a bit of YouTube and Netflix in the morning and night, then this phone will last you two to three days. 
and it it lasts very well on gaming. This is I'm not gonna show you any quick I'm not gonna show any gaming res, um gaming um reviews because I don't have any time right now. But I can what I can do is a Geekbench um speed test. So I'm gonna run the CPU and I'm gonna pause it and come back when it is finished. So this is the result we get now. It isn't great, but for the for the price, it is. I personally think it is a very very good value. So this the single core is three three two nine, but on the um on the iPhone twelve Pro Max, this is much higher phone. Single core we get one thousand five hundred ninety six, and on multi core we get four thousand one hundred eighty three. So compare that to what we get, it's much greater. But no one. I'm just gonna say this now. 95% of the people, and more, even more, 99% of the people who buy the iPhone 12 Pro Max won't use that much processing power. There's virtually barely or barely any things that will ever um, use that much processing power. Even some um, Call of Duty, Call of Duty Mobile, will barely use half of that processing power. You won't even, you'll never need that much. This is enough for maybe um, all your normal stuff, some mid-range gaming, stuff like Call of Duty Mobile, <coughs> sorry, on high settings, may stutter a bit, but other than that, it should be fine. All right, guys, I hope you guys um liked this video. Anyway, thank you, and bye.